Well, hello. We're here at Bridge 8. Getting close to the end of the first day. Got the guardrails off. And looks like they got the uh, the timber sorted. Remember I was telling you in, in that last video they're numbered. Well, you did. I did find out that zero timber is on here on the east end. It's bridge eight. This is the. We'll get up there and get closer here in a little bit. This is the uh, bridge that I made the uh, video on on the uh, bridge guardrails. So they're laying over here. Okay, let's go see what's going on. Okay. Got a couple more on there to put on. See what's going on up here. I got a few in today. Put that long one in just now. Got Richard up there. A good operator. We did that to separate them. They were packed together. We got the rail jacked up over here. Nice day today. Not too hot. I like to see that guy's got a lanyard on him. Clamp to the rail. That's pretty neat. I never saw that before. That's neat. There you go. back there holding the rail up. This way they don't have to take the walkway out. Or the guards are in the guardrail here. It saves a lot of time rather than stripping the whole bridge off. Okay. Pretty neat stuff. How often do you get to see this? Put the legs down for the uh, walkway.
long ones are the hardest ones to get out, obviously. You gotta pick it up over, so the dap, the dap, you know what the dap is, goes over top of the bridge girder enough. And slide it at the same time. Alrighty. I told you these long timbers here. That's what they're for. Hold this uh, plate, so the walkway plate down, so we can bolt to that. That's why the long ones. That'll help pull it out. Got a lag on the hand railing too. Okay, we're right back in business. It's gonna be neat. I've never gotten up here to get to see them do this before. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this. And I'm uh, on my way home from work. I was with the tie gang all day. Tamping behind the tie gang. So I'm on my way home from work. Thought I'd stop in and see what was going on because I might not be able to get up here tomorrow when they're working. Uh, got more tamping to do tomorrow. There we go. Pretty neat stuff. All right. about you doing this you can't get in a big hurry you gotta make sure you don't want to drop it especially when we get out over top of the road i'm sure they'll have a flagman out over top of the road when we do that when they do that Good job, Richard! He's way up there. So you gotta have a little courage when you're up there over top of over on a bridge. Huh? Richard's an old hand. He's a railroader all his life. Also, make another video, or perhaps patch it into the end of this, I'm not sure which, and show you the completed deck. This is how they do it. They'll put their tie plates down back there, and drop the rail down, move the jacks up, keep on going with the process. You got a lag in this walkway out here. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Break any action. So, what happens to the old bridge timbers? Uh, depends. We've actually given quite a few away over the years to local farmers. When we did bridge four, we gave a bunch of those away to the uh, the farmer there. Uh, I don't know if they have anybody that's uh, wanting these old uh, timbers or not, but if nobody wants them, uh, they'll sort through them and if there's any, any that are left decent, they'll save them, but the rest will go into dumpsters and go to a landfill at some point. That may happen on this shutdown and it may not. I don't know what frontiers, I know they're awfully busy. I don't know how many uh, days they're going to be here other than to get this bridge done and then the cleanup. I don't know if they'll be able to stay and do any of that or not. We'll see. Okay. Coming at me. I got to get out. Move away. Okay. Well, we're back here on Bridge 8 next day. And things were going really, really well. But uh, got some problems. And I'm going to tell you about the problems today. And they're major problems. But that's railroad. <laughs> oh, oh, this is big. Okay. Turn around here and I'll show you what's going on. Okay. See all these timbers that are close together? I believe there's 70 of them. They are dapped wrong. Before I get into that, yeah, we got a little heat buckle here. And, you know, when you don't, uh, you know, they didn't get this spike down to hold it, and everything loose back and through here, the heat got to it, and that's what happens to, to the rail. And I'm not going out there because this is not lagged down over here. And I don't have a safety harness on, so I am going, not going any further. Or I would sh get up there closer and show you that. See if I can zoom in and you can see that heat buckle. That's a nice six inch buckle. Some, some people call it a uh, heat kink or a sun kink. Uh, I, I call them heat buckles. So anyway, when it cools off in the morning, a good bit of that will come back um, but that's not the major problem that's easily fixed to get that back into alignment all right here's here's the problem you see this uh, bridge girder has got a certain width and I didn't measure it and again I'm not going any closer um, but you can see Okay, let's see if I can get right down here. Come on, phone, there. Can you see that? That dap, it's not cut wide enough to fit on top of the girder. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you here a close up in, in a little bit on the, give you a better idea. Okay, so. both sides and that's really odd and when nobody's we're, we're trying to nobody knows why these weren't dapped correctly we've never ever had a problem with any of our bridges uh, with that event occurring <clears throat> frontier has had the problem on bridges on other railroads that uh, they've worked so um, Obviously, we, we got to have this track back in service in three days. And wow, this, uh, we can leave the 
leave these in here until we see what 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 what, what we're thinking we're gonna they're gonna have to do is cut every one of those timbers. Oh my gosh, with either a chainsaw or a circular saw or something to widen that gap dap. Things are going were going really really well. Uh, what are you gonna do? So this has turned into a major project now. All right, let me uh, get off of here and I'll go down and uh, show you that dap, what needs to be done. Okay, let me show you what I was uh, talking about up there in case these are the, some of the ones that they pulled out and they're all stacked up here, just piled up. Anyway, this is the dap. So it's cut down and then your ridge girder goes here and here. And what's going on on that second span up there on the bridge is this dap is not wide enough. So they're going to have to cut an inch and one half off of this and also an inch and a half off of the this side of the dap on that side. And I'm on these old timbers because the new timbers are just full of creosote and I don't want to get creosote on my hands. So that's why I'm on this old timber to show you what I was talking about. And that's going to be a big job. And we do not know. Uh, we did find out some information that some of the girders change in width on some of our bridges and some of them they don't. And that's United States Steel Engineering why they did that. I don't know, but I do know that you... United States Steel Engineering overbuilt their bridges. Uh, <laughs> our bridges are built tough, strong. So, and we don't know if somebody at the uh, Appalachian Timber read the dapping schedule wrong, which is why this happened, or we don't know the answers to all that. But we're going to keep investigating and uh, go from there what the, what the next project is, and it's going to be a pain. But it's got to be done because there's absolutely no way that we can get bridge timbers replaced in just a few days. Uh, get a circular saw, make a cut, and then get a hand adds and cut this out. It's going to be a pain, but it has to be done. Another thing you can't, it's, uh, when you got these old timbers, you know, they have wear on them and they're soft and if you look underneath, they're spongy. Some of them are, not all of them. This is a pretty good timber right here actually, but some of them are pretty spongy and, and they're moving up and down. So if we have brand new bridge timbers and then we go off onto a old timber that's spongy, first we're going to have a mismatch because of the thickness of the wood, the weathering on this, and the wear and tear on this, and the wear and tear on the new ones, plus the sponginess. So this is gonna be a situation that if we have to do that, run new timbers up and leave the old ones on in the second span, then you're gonna get, when that train loads, you're gonna get this kind of an effect, and that's not good, and we want to avoid that. So anyway, uh, Frontier's on the job and we will go from there and I will keep you informed and uh, tomorrow what's going on. Alrighty, a <laughs> beautiful day today and tomorrow's going to be really hot and the next day. Okay, we'll be back with more information.